Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. Now today, I'm going to be telling you guys my best character in Dragon Ball's universe. Now, I know that we can get our created characters kind of overpowered at times with some of the ultimates. Uh, you know, Super, uh, Android 17's ultimate in particular. And I know that we can do that, so I'm not going to count created characters because we can obviously make them very strong. I'm talking about the characters that were placed into the game. And for me, it's not Super Saiyan 4 Go or Gogeta or Super Saiyan God Goku. It's going to be Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And the reason I say this is because when I play a Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I use my special attacks um, sparingly. And I, what I mean by that is, if you take a look at Goku's stats, and I'll have them on the screen. If you take a look at his stats... He has almost nothing in his key. He has three and a half key bars. Everything else, everything, all stat points are put into everything else. His basic attack, his strike super, uh, special super, his key blast supers, his health, his stamina. He has insane stamina in this game. And the way Goku's fighting style is in this game makes him a melee heavy build. Because he doesn't have, his special attacks are 10 times coming in, huh? After image strike. Which you'll probably see in this video gets me out of a ton of ultimate attacks. Uh, instant transmission, which I think is garbage and it's kind of terrible that's there, but whatever. Uh, super Dragon Fist, which is a great melee super. And he has Super Kamameha. He only has one ultimate, which is a little bit disappointing, but he'd be pretty overpowered if he had any more. Now, since he only has those specials, I do use them sparingly. And the thing is, is that his melee combos are so well that if you do snap vanishes in between the combos, you can keep a combo going pretty good and then end it in a super dragon fist. And it is decimating, especially in ranked matches. I hardly ever use a, lose a ranked match with Goku because I get so melee heavy because his melee is so strong. You know, the way his character is set up makes me want to respec my character skills. So I'm trying to collect the Dragon Balls again, which obviously takes a very long time. That being said... Goku only having three and a half key bars can be a detriment, but like I said, his melee combos are so good that it does his key bar does fill up very quickly, and I, I do not find too much of a problem with it. Maybe I'd like to have a, a total of four key bars instead of three and a half, but honestly, three and a half isn't bad, considering how much stamina he has, and you can outlast Prince any opponent in the entire game with it. So yeah, I think Super Saiyan 4 Goku is a great character. Uh, for me, maybe some of you would disagree, but for me personally, considering I don't spam in this game very often, uh, I feel like he's a very skill-based and combo-heavy character, and that it's very satisfying to play as him. So, you know, maybe some of you are wondering how to get the character. Uh, I guess I'll let you know now. A lot of people think it's for collecting the Dragon Balls and wishing for him. He's, he's not unlocked like that. To unlock Super Saiyan 4 Goku, you have to complete every single parallel quest, and that is... A difficult task it did take me a while but it can be done um, so you guys are gonna have to do that it is gonna be time-consuming but I think it's worth it Super Saiyan 4 Goku is an absolute beast in multiplayer uh, like I said before the after image strike gets you out of almost any ultimate the only ultimates I've had problems with is uh, seven Android 17's ultimate that uh, freaking like energy blade thing he shoots at you that green blade I don't know what it's called and uh, I believe Kid Buu's Vanishing Ball, someone was spamming that online. I mean, you know, it's hard to not get hit by those attacks. But After Image Strike can get you the jump on multiple people. Um, as well as finishing off an, an uh, After Image Strike with an ultimate is pretty devastating in itself if you time it right. So guys, that has been my video for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll catch you later.